Good morning. So today's Monday. Um, I just started this 30 day challenge to um, lose weight, tone up. It's only 15 minutes a day. It's like, I can do that, 15 minutes, right? Um, anyways, so just getting in a habit of setting time aside. Um, I also wrote down my commitment on paper, which is important, and I made a calendar. So every day I mark off um, what I've accomplished, what I've done. So anyways, I feel like that that's the same way that we should look at our um, our faith, our prayer life. Um, just setting aside a certain amount of minutes, five, 10, to read your Bible is like getting food for the day. Just like when you work out, your body's getting so much um, exercise and it's good for your heart and just overall your whole health. Um, you're also, your spiritual health is very important. So now I'm turning to my notes. I'm gonna read some scriptures. And it says here in 1 Peter 3, 12, it says, for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open unto their prayers. So he listens to those who are righteous. He can hear you. Even when you think he's not listening, he's always there. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Matthew 5, 8. Anyways, as you read and give yourself food for the day, it's like the Bible is living water, but it's also food for your spirit. You have to feed your faith and your fears will starve. If you feed your fears, your faith will starve. So I encourage you today, take time to exercise. Get your body in like good health. Eat healthy. You are what you eat. That's what they say. So what goes in will come out eventually. And just like what goes in spiritually will come out. For the good treasure stored up in a man's heart brings forth good. The evil stored up in a man's heart brings forth evil. So what? it's very important what you're putting in your body, what you're hearing, what you're seeing. So take time today, work out, find a plan, find someone you can work out with. My friend uh, actually sent me a link and said, I challenge you to this 30 day challenge. And I was like, I'm up for it. So I encourage you, we're, we're here together to work in community. Find a friend that you can work out with. Find a friend that you can read the Bible with. Find someone that you can talk with and spend some time alone and feed your soul, your spirit. And um, you will have a blessed day. So take care. Bye.